back to another vlog. I just got back from like a three and a half week trip to America and I've got a lot of stuff to do. So I thought I'd just film my day while I get my life back together. I've got my to-do list right here and I'll let you know everything I have to get done. I have to unpack, which I was away for a while. So I have a lot of stuff. I have to clean my room because it is a mess. <laughs> I have to go shopping. I also have to go to work because I was away. I work in retail, seasons have changed. So there's like a whole new wardrobe at work and I have work tomorrow. So I need to keep my outfits up to date <laughs> and I have to go to the gym, which I've already done today. It's actually a public holiday. So shops don't open until one today and it's 12 right now. So I'm gonna unpack for a little bit and then I'm gonna go shopping. So I went to the gym today and it was so hard because I only worked out like probably five times the whole time I was away. So, which is okay because I was on holiday and that's fine, but it was very hard. So I'm definitely keen to get back into working out. And I feel like I'm gonna be very sore tomorrow. But let's talk about books because that's like one of my favorite things to talk about. So I thought I just would talk about the books I read while I was away, which was most of April. So I guess this is kind of like a, what I read in April as well. So first off, I read a lot of books on my Kindle cause I was away. I didn't read like a crazy amount of books. I thought I would read more, but we were doing stuff most days. So I didn't get around to reading too much, but I think I read, I've read four books and I'm in the middle of two. So I'll probably read six by the end of the month. So starting off at the start of the month, I read Throttled on my Kindle, which is like in a series and it's the first book. It's like F1 romances and it was so good. While I was traveling and reading it, it made me just like wish I was dating someone from the F1 so I could like travel the world with them. I gave this book three stars because it was like good while I was reading it, but it wasn't like something that stuck with me, but it was really good. It was something I enjoyed, but not something that was like crazy amazing. So yeah, solid three stars. And then I read the Mindfuck series, which was so good. I had already read like the first two books in, I think I read it in February, but I put it down because I was reading it on my phone. And then I got a Kindle for my birthday and I was gonna pick it back up, but I just didn't get around to it. But while I was away, I finished it and it was so good. I love that series so much. And I don't know, I'm thinking it's like a 4.5 stars. Not exactly a five star, but it was still really good. Hello, this is me editing, but I just thought I'd come on here and say, I really said nothing about the Mindfuck series and it was so good. So let me give you a little brief summary. It's about Lana and she is a serial killer and she's dating this guy named Logan, who is an FBI profiler and he's working on her case. So Logan obviously doesn't know that Lana is the killer but Lana knows that Logan's working on her case. So it's a lot of like sneaking around, a lot of suspense, and there is so many plot twists. I also feel like while I was filming this little part of the video, I was getting so nervous because I'm not a YouTuber. I'm trying to be, but I'm not a YouTuber. And a lot of booktubers out there are very confident talking about books and I was a bit nervous. So if I seem like I'm not explaining everything, is because I was very nervous to talk about books for the first time and post it. But yeah, books is something that I enjoy talking about, so I'm gonna add it in anyways. But if I seem a little bit awkward, it's because I was nervous. Anyways, back to the original video. Then I read Kingdom of the Wicked. I got this at a Barnes and Noble because why is Barnes and Noble so cool? Like we do not have that in Australia and I wish we did. So I got this series and I read the first book not gonna lie i really liked the first half of it and then i just kept getting confused i don't know if it was because i was like reading it in the car while people were talking and like reading it like very sparsely because i was doing things all the time but i don't know halfway through the book i just got so confused i feel like everything i was reading it just didn't make sense to me so it was still really good but i don't know why i just got confused like there was like plot twists that would happen i'd be like Oh my god that was crazy but then it like still wouldn't make sense to me i don't know how to describe it i was just very confused <laughs> but i'm still thinking this is like a three and a half stars because i really loved the characters and i loved the like vibe of the book and then after i finished that book i was home alone 
in the place we were staying for like a full afternoon by myself. And so I read The Housemaid in like one sitting and that was so good. I like never read thrillers, but I think I need to read more of them as like gap fillers in between series because I personally, I know a lot of people don't like doing this, but when I'm reading a series, I like to take breaks like in between the books and read something else just to like get my mind off it. And then it's like more exciting for me to go back to the series. But yeah, so I read The Housemaid. It was so good. It was like four stars. I read it in like one sitting. I swear, I was so tired trying not to fall asleep. I read it on my Kindle. It's on Kindle Unlimited. I recommend. I feel like the biggest plot twist is like halfway through the book. And then so for the rest of it, you're kind of just like figuring out everything that's happened. So I definitely enjoyed it until the plot twist. And then the last little bit was still really good, but I didn't love the ending. So it was four stars because it like kept me very entertained. It was so quick to read. Like every chapter, I just was like, oh, okay, I can read another one and another one. The writing was so simple as well. So it was really good. But yeah, I didn't love the ending. So four stars. Now I'm in the middle of reading two books. I'm almost done the second book in this series and I'm loving this one so much more. This is following the same story and it's making a lot more sense to me. That's why I think that it was just because I wasn't like binge reading this that it didn't really make sense because I kept forgetting stuff. So, but then I read like most of this on the plane ride home and it's making a lot more sense <laughs> and it's really good. I really like this one. I like this one a lot better. And then I'm also reading this book, Clara and the Sun. Um, one of my dad's friends just gave me this book. She was like, you'll like this. And so I started reading it. It's very not what I usually read, but it is interesting. I'm hardly through this one. I don't know if I'm going to finish it, but it's good. Anyways, that's all the books I read slash am reading. I think when I finish these books, I'm going to, there's one more book left in the Kingdom of the Wicked trilogy. So I'm going to read that. And then I might go on to Throne of Glass series. I'm so nervous to read that because it is such a big series. And Akatar was like a five bajillion stars for me, especially the last book. Like I loved the last book so much. So I'm a bit nervous to move on from that and see what Throne of Glass is like. Anyways, enough talk about books. I need to go unpack. Okay, I'm about to show you my suitcase and it is so embarrassing how much stuff I have to put away. So don't judge me. I overpacked and I did go shopping, so. Okay, so this is what we're dealing with. Don't mind the bed. My sister stayed over last night and didn't make the bed. But yeah, half of this is clean. Half of it is dirty. It was organized. And then I got home and I was like, I need this, I need that. And I shuffled through it and now it's all kind of disorganized. But I don't know what I'm going to start with because this is so overwhelming. I've also got toiletries and all that to put away. I think I'm going to start with shoes because that's like the easiest. Enjoy this time lapse of me unpacking. dirty and clean stuff so now I just have to put away all the clean stuff that wasn't too hard then I have to clean this room clean my room and yeah and I also have to go shopping so this will be fun okay I'm back in my kitchen with an update so my unpacking has turned into me wanting to reorganize my whole life so I decided to like rearrange all my clothes and everything. And now I'm not even close to finishing cleaning everything. And my room is even more of a mess, which is less than ideal because it is now 2.10. I have to still go to the shops, get the things I have to get, come back, clean everything. And I've got work tomorrow, so I need to finish it today. But it's okay, I'm gonna get it done. But yeah, I'm gonna make a little shopping list for myself of things I have to get. And then I'm gonna go to the shops. Hopefully I can do it 
really quickly. I don't want to be there forever. I just want to hurry up and get it done and then come back and finish. But I don't know if anyone else gets in these moods, but I swear this happens to me like at least two times a year where I just like look at my room and I'm like, I need to organize everything right now. Okay, I'm gonna go now and hope that this goes quickly. Okay guys, I'm back from the shops and I have to show you something I bought. I bought Magnolia Parks. If you have not heard about this book, you are either living under a rock or you consume no book content because this book has been talked about everywhere and I'm so excited. I don't really read like plain romance often. I do read it, but not often. So I really hope I like it. I've heard it being compared to Gossip Girl, which I do love Gossip Girl. I haven't finished it. I only ever watched like the first like three seasons, but I have watched those first three seasons like three times. So, and the covers, like, can we just talk about how perfect they are? Like every book in this world, in this universe has the prettiest covers ever. So even if I don't like it, I'm gonna force myself to read it just so I can have them on my bookshelf because they are perfect. I'm still in the middle of reorganizing my room. My wardrobe is looking a lot better and I still need to clean my room though because it's disgusting. This is it right now. I've just got piles of random stuff. So I'm gonna hopefully finish that. It's 4.53 right now. And the sun is like already starting to set. When I left for America, the sun was setting at like 8 p.m. And now it's five o'clock and it's already starting to set. And I don't like it. I don't like winter. Hey guys, I'm back in my room. I just had dinner. My room's actually clean. I've got my iced tea and my water. Also, can we appreciate this cup? I got it in America and I don't know why, but it reminds me of shells and the ocean and I love it. And I love iced tea. I didn't fill it all the way up because that would be a crazy amount of iced tea to have, but it's so good. I don't know why, but drinking stuff out of cute cups just makes it so much better. Anyways, as you can see, my room is clean. Well, cleaner than it was. And now I've just got the rest of the night to chill. I'm probably gonna start editing this video and then I'm gonna read. But yeah, if I end up doing anything else, I'll update you guys, but I'm probably just gonna have a chill the rest of my night. I have to wake up early tomorrow to go to the gym before work, so.